Today's video is a continuation of my coverage from the Zastava factory in Serbia, and we're talking about what might be my most favorite AK, the Zastava M21. I love AKs chambered in God and Eugene Stoner's caliber. The 223 recoils incredibly mild. And as you'll learn from the Zastava engineer I talked to, the M21 specifically was tuned for optimal felt recoil impulse for 556 instead of simply being a converted 7.6239 AK. Often, 223 AKs suffer from overgassing. A good example being the first generation Galil Aces in 223. Uh, they had far more felt recoil than was necessary, especially for a gun that was significantly heavier than a standard AR-15, sending brass into low orbit. Not only is the M21 optimized for 5.56, but it's got a few other tricks up its sleeve. For example, the M21B has polygonal rifling, which is a rarity. Polygonal rifling tends to be more efficient, more accurate, and more durable than standard rifling. The M21's barrel is also chrome-lined, making it corrosion-resistant. That used to be less common in Zastava AKs, although they're doing it in more models now. The M21 uses a 1.5mm or an RPK light machine gun receiver for increased rigidity. Arguably, this is overkill. A 1mm receiver would have been perfectly fine and it would have been lighter weight, but the weight does help with the recoil. The M21's got a few other updates, including a Galil-style ambidextrous safety and fire selector and tritium night sights. It's been adopted by a dozen or more militaries and law enforcement units, including the Serbian military. The folding stock's pretty awesome. The furniture, I think, looks good too. Aesthetically speaking, this is one of the best-looking AKs out there. The performance is also outstanding, especially in full auto. The M21 runs like a sewing machine at 680 rounds per minute. Not too fast, not too slow. This excellent rhythm helps with the controllability of this rifle while at the same time making it easy to drop singles or controlled pairs even while the gun's in full auto. Like I said, this AK is a favorite of mine. I'm hoping it'll come to the US. Zostava USA has expressed a willingness to import it if the market's there. So please don't forget to share this video with your friends because I'm sure an increased view count, raising awareness. This is the kind of awareness I like to raise, you know. Uh, I'm sure that will help getting it over here. The one trick with these is that they wouldn't be able to be imported as pistols because they've got that hinged trunnion and the longer barrel. They would have to meet 922R compliance. Oversimplified, this means the ATF would have to approve it for import and that Zastava would have to install a certain number of US made parts. Because Zastava doesn't like to go and change the internals of guns it imports, they like to keep the inside of the gun 100% Serbian. That means that they're going to have to find someone to make this unique furniture stateside, which might make this task of importing the gun very difficult. But I'm hoping that there will be enough interest in this video and in this wonderful rifle to get it over here in the next year or so. So enjoy the interview and make sure to stay tuned for more of our coverage from Serbia. Hey everyone, James Reeves at TFE TV here at Zastava Ružije in Serbia. I'm with my friend Dragon. He's an engineer with Zastava and he's going to tell us about the M21, which is one of the more advanced AK rifles that's on the market today. Thank you for being on the program and Dragon, can you tell me what is the M21. Fully automatic military grade weapon. So it is based on gas piston Kalashnikov working system. The main features are uh, for the start its caliber. It is a 5.56 NATO caliber, which is adopted as its name says by NATO and many other countries. The availability of ammo is just about everything. Uh, apart from that, the, the well proven system of operation and its reliability and durability is what sets it apart compared to some other rifles. Magazine capacity, standard 30 rounds. It has a side folding stock for easier transportation, especially inside the vehicles. Similar to all Zastava uh, barrels, it is called hammer forged and it is hard chrome plated on the inside. What does that give me? Why is that better than a regular button rifled barrel? Cold forged barrel is much, much, much longer, uh, much better longevity, much better working conditions overall and better lifespan. What is the thread pitch on the barrel? It is standard M14 times one left thread. 
Do you know anything about what kind of accuracy I could expect out of the M21? Expected uh, grouping should be around 8 centimeters, which is a little bit over 3 inches at 100 meters, which is about 110 yards, with just about any type of ball military-grade ammo. What about with, say, match ammunition or higher-grade ammunition? Uh, you can expect accuracy anywhere in between 5 and 6 centimeters, which is about 2 to 2.5 inches at 100 meters. I've noticed that it's very light recoiling. I mean, incredibly light recoiling in full auto. Is there anything special other than it being in 5.56 five, and being an AK that makes it so light recoiling? The main uh, difference is the, uh, that the gas block was moved more forward towards the, the end of the barrel and thus the lower pressures are needed to operate the gun itself and thus it has slightly steadier mechanical work. How is this different than the M90? I can see a lot of differences here, but our viewers at home might not be able to see what I see. So how is this different than the M90? I mean, some of the aesthetic differences are uh, the addition of the folding, side folding stock, the front polymer single piece open hand guard, and uh, of course that we explained a bit later this change in the in the gas block that is slightly different and slightly moved forward and also other side of let's say the ambidextrous, uh, ambidextrous selector switch yes what about the magazine same as the m90 yes it is the same and it is uh, still have you done any reliability or durability testing of the m21 it was let's say done after the the general military acceptance tests uh, were done, they did some inside, let's say, inside the factory, different type of tests. Also, they have the custom of uh, randomly picking up rifles out of the batches and shooting them for reliability and durability tests. Am I able to buy one of these as a civilian in Serbia? As a civilian, of course, no, because this is a fully automatic, fully military-grade weapon. <laughs> That's too bad. What's the barrel length on the standard M21? Standard barrel length is 18 inches. Talk to me about the receiver. One millimeter, one and a half millimeter, stamped, milled. The receivers are stamped steel and they are 1.5 millimeter thick. So they are a little bit more durable and rigid. Is there any treatment on the bolt carrier? They are just uh, polished. Do I worry about the durability or corrosion with a standard polished? bolt carrier group in the M21? If you do regular maintenance with standard greasing or lubing, you should have zero problems for the entire lifespan of your weapon. Dernch, right? <laughs> and how about uh, military users? Are there any, I, I know the answer is yes, but if you could tell everyone watching uh, about the military users of the M21. The M21 rifle is uh, in use in Serbian military from, from its inception, and there are uh, several state users in the Middle East and Africa. What if I wanted to mount an optic? All rifles are equipped with left side standard dovetail mount for optical sights. Last question, M21 or M70, which one do you like better personally? Personally, M70 is his favorite. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. Uh, Dragon, thank you very much for being on the program and thank you for dealing with the translation. Guys, thank you uh, the, out there, our TFB TV viewers, for bearing with us because as, as you know, you know, we've got a translator behind the scenes. Makes things slightly more awkward than the average interview. However, it's so much more authentic, it's so much more real, and we're here in Serbia. So stay tuned because we're going to be bringing you more content from Zastava. Take care. So what do you guys think? Should we try to bring over the M21? I think so, and I certainly hope so. Thanks as usual for watching. Thank you to our sponsors, Ventura Munitions and Top Gun Supply, your online shooting sports superstore. But thank you to our supporters on Patreon, Utreon, Subscribestar that keep us in business. Guys, take care.